Hey, all right. Hey, we're going to check and see how this goes. Uh, this is like the intro to, um, uh, like, jump and rope kind of deal. And I don't know why I want to punish myself like this, but I figure I got nothing better to do, right? So after you hit the, uh, the speed bag for three rounds and you're starting to get a little better, and you're like, oh, what else can I do that's going to um, absolutely punish me and uh, make me make my arms want to cry? You know, uh, jumping rope is probably one of the best things. I mean, it's a full body workout. And um, jumping rope is almost how you fight, too. Uh, the better you are jumping rope, the faster your footwork is, the faster your feet move. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple stuff. You jump rope like a fat man, you're going to jump rope like a fat man. You know what I'm saying? You, you won't jump rope like me, man. Shut up. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll go through some stuff. I'll show you what not to do and kind of uh, give you an idea of how you should be jumping, you know, to um, better yourself. First thing you got to do is get a rope, right? Hold on. So I got my rope. I got my rope right here. It's leather. And then I was like, you know, that's not enough because when I get smacked with a rope, you know, I, I want these little plastic things to come flying in and, and bash me too. So I bought a rope that had the plastic things on it, cut that rope off, and slid them onto the leather rope. Because um, I hate myself sometimes. And I just want to punish myself. Okay, so here's what I'm going to show you what not to do when you're jumping rope. Now, first thing, you got to make sure the rope fits. So. You have your rope, you got it set. You don't want it down here, you don't want it too short because your arms are gonna be coming out here and you're gonna be holding so you can jump. If the rope is way too short, it's gonna bang off your feet a lot and you're not gonna be able to do, a, do anything with it. So, we're out here and you're gonna see these guys and if you're starting out and this is how you're jumping, Um, yeah, that's not cutting it, man. Okay? If you're doing the two-foot shuffle, that's not cutting it either, okay? The deal is, and what you want to do, let me get nice and close so you can understand me. Your foot is only going to come about a half an inch to an inch top from the ground. That's it. Just like in boxing, the more your foot is off the ground or the further away it is from the ground, the worse it is. There's no jumping, there's no hopping, there's no skipping in boxing, okay? You can glide in, you can glide out. It's that simple. But if you're jumping like those, you'll never get fast enough, you'll never uh, condition yourself enough to where it's, it's effective. So, watch the footwork. Don't watch me crying as I'm jumping, okay? <laughs> okay? Watch the footwork. The feet are barely going to leave the ground. Barely going to leave the ground. All right. Let me get back far enough. Can you see them? Can you see the feet? All right. Well, I hope I'm not hitting them. Here we go. Okay. Did you see that? Scary, huh? 275 pound man jumping around like that. Pretty freaky, isn't it? Anyway, that's what you want to do. You barely want your feet leaving the ground. The more you, um, whoo, <laughs> the more you, uh, the higher up you jump, the worse off it is. You can't get the revolutions. You're never going to, this isn't, you know, one of those jump rope competition things, right? We're not trying to show you how pretty we can jump. We're trying to jump rope. All right? 
So, I hope this helps. Got him out of shape. <laughs> but uh, you want to keep your feet as low to the ground. The only time, I mean, you can raise up, raise your knees up and things like that. But you really want to keep your knees or your feet just an inch to half an inch off the ground. Let me, uh, let me see. Let me move this down. Coming with me, this is scary. Okay, can we see the feet? Cool. God, I hope I don't hit nothing. Again. Here we go. You only want about an inch, maybe a half an inch to an inch as it's going. All right. Now, to get those kind of revolutions, you're really going to have to uh, to bring it around. You're really going to have to put a lot of uh, oomph into your uh, your spinning, your your hands. You're really going to have to crank them out. It's going to work the biceps a lot. So that's the biggest thing. It's really going to work your body really well. So you got to jump rope if you're going to fight. You want to get good, you want to get in shape really fast, you start jumping rope. Total body workout, it'll smoke you good, and um, it tones, it'll tone your whole body. You'll be good to go. All right, well, it's enough of having to watch Fat Man jump rope, huh? <laughs> well, it's Big Ragu. I'm tired. <laughs>